Hey everybody, my name is Mike Toledo. Now when it comes to paintless dent repair, tool tips are super important. Like these, these are actually made for pushing different varieties, soft tips, blunt tips, and heck, there's a new type of spike there. Sharp tips, kind of like a midpoint tip pushing. I think you're gonna find this super interesting. Let's go take a look. All right, I'm gonna show you how we use these tips on one of these dents. Now I have a chain hook here holding some leverage, but meanwhile, I'm gonna have some new extensions as well. You're gonna be using these a lot if you're a brand new tech because this is gonna create your leverage. If you just try to use a tool that's simply like this all the time, what happens is you're going to be bending like this and that's not what you want because it's gonna make contact and then when you push, it's gonna slide back towards you. You want to make sure when you add extensions that it's going to be level. So when you're pushing, you're getting direct contact. That way your tool's not going to slip. Now I've got my extension. Now a lot of you are familiar with tip I'm gonna be putting on, but this is an aluminum tip from Anson and it's supposed to be pushing pretty good. You'll get some nice contact here. I don't feel like that's gonna come off in any way, shape or form. I have a chain, this is super basic. It hooks up to the, the hole underneath there. And what I do is I'll slide this to the top of the chain right here. That way it's gonna get my leverage. When I'm pushing, you see how straight my tool is? It's not bending down, it's staying nice and straight. I'm gonna go for the first one right here with the soft tip. One thing about soft tip is that you're allowed to go to the center much faster, and I may even need to switch tips much, much faster. So this is a technique that will switch our tips and change the board. With the dent, actually lets me see the direction of the dent. That way I can change the tool tip as well. I'll go to a midpoint. I'm gonna be using this tip right here. This turned into a, like a little crease because actually the true identity of this dent was a crease because I hit it with the side of the hammer. Now it makes sense why that dent looks the way it does. One thing about midpoints, this is a metal midpoint. I call it, usually I use plastic midpoints because sometimes it can be too brutal. But what I'm finding with this tip is it's very forgiving on the pushes. I'm going to turn my board over push on purpose just to make sure I get the center out. We'll tap down. I'm using a match grade tap down, one of the strongest tap downs to use. Very precise. Now I'll use a sharp tip to finish out this last bit right there. This is the sharp tip. Holy crap, this is just, this is why I do the one, two, three. I'll soft tip a lot of that out, save the last 5%, 3% for a sharp. Really no business for you to be using a sharp tip in the beginning. Now we'll move on to this one. 